Writer, producer, rapper, and rising star, this Oceanside, California native is definitely a guy to keep on your radar. He's collaborated with, produced for, and has even been shouted out by, on Twitter by some of hip hop's heaviest hitters in the game right now, from Pharrell to Timbaland to 2 Chains. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Hey guys, I'm Jade with Daft Star, and sitting next to me right now is Mr. Emerson Windy. Emerson, thanks so much for joining us. Oh man, it's a pleasure to be here. So let's just get into some questions right now. Okay, so Ludacris, he said in an interview once that he purposely went into DJ, being a DJ, and had every intention of being a rapper. You transitioned from a producer to a rapper. Was that part of your master plan all along? I didn't have any intention of ever rapping in my life. It was just something that kind of happened after my mother passed away. I had a whole lot to say, so I decided to rap for a living. And the people have been so nice to me for it. I appreciate y'all. So really, it was just your mom just being that inspiration for you? Yeah, I just had a whole lot to say, and I wanted to express myself, you know, to my fans in the audience, you know. I mean, as you said, I produce for a lot of people, but, I mean, the hip-hop, I never had any aspirations of getting behind the mic or picking one up. Just kind of happened. As a producer, you see rappers come and go. I mean, one-hit wonders. They're in one year, and then you've never heard of them afterwards. <laughs> right? So what is it about you that's going to allow yourself to stay relevant as a rapper? I mean, I pay attention, you know, to what the people want, but I make the stuff that's from my heart. I always give my all to my fans, my music, and uh, I like to think I'm pretty good at it. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, I have it here right now, but I mean, who knows? I might be gone tomorrow. I better stay up on my job. You know what I'm saying? Better stay up on it. You gotta stay up on it. Okay, so we're going to have a rap battle. and No, not me and you, because <laughs> that would be... <laughs> no. So if it were... You're going to be the judge. Okay. So I'm gonna name off two people and you're gonna tell me who's gonna, who you'd say would win. Dang, okay. Iggy Azalea and Nicki Minaj. Nicki. Drake versus Jay-Z. Drake, ooh, shit. I was gonna say him versus anybody, but uh, <laughs> dang, you know what I mean? I would have to hand it to Drake, that boy clever. Why would you give it to Drake? Because he's just quick. Now if they had some time to sit there and kind of pin something down and know what was going on, I might have to it would be a hard fought battle, but I might give that one to Jay. But off the top of the dome, I would have to say Drake. Definitely Drake? No, just Drake. Just Drake. I'm going with a hard Drake. I'm just going with Drake. Okay, we're going to have Rick Ross okay. and Kendrick Lamar. Lamar. Why Lamar? That boy is crafty, man. And that's really his thing. He really goes at people. And Rose, he's just a swag rapper. He has a lot of swag. He spits it real, but... uh. I would have to go with Lamar in a battle all day. So we at Daft Star know you are a huge fan of the herbal refreshment if you catch my drift. Yes, yes, yes. I love the weed community. <laughs> Let's go there. The weed man, baby. Oh, yeah. So if, one weed? Oh, so much. But this one question. If you were to name, like, what would you say best represents your, your style? The marijuana. I mean, because that's all I want. Well, which grade? Which grade? Oh, what? I mean, I actually have my own now, Emerson Windy OG right now. So I would say the Emerson Windy OG best represents me and what I'm all about. It's strong, it's potent, and it's just real all the way around. It's a fun experience. Y'all got to try that. You even had a scratch and sniff CD, right? What, what made that come out to your idea? When you scratch it, you can, it smells like it's marijuana. What made you come up with that idea? I mean, it's so innovative, but I can't take all the credit. I was actually just at the distributor and printed up my albums, and he had a scratch and sniff disc on the desk. And I just said, man, what's that? Because it had like a blueberry on it or something like that, right? So I said, man, what's that? He said, oh, that's just like a scratch and sniff little thing we did for like a school or something like that. I was like, hey, man, do you think they could hook me up a weed scented disc? And he was like, I don't think they made weed. I'm like, fool, ask them. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't take the no for an answer, and boom, Emerson Wendy brought y'all the first weed scented CD. The first one ever. That's the first incredible. Ever, man, the first of all time. Now, if you could have a smoke session yeah. with three people, dead or alive, who would they be? Damn. Okay, well, let me just state this, too. I don't actually smoke marijuana. I was the weed, man. My connection to the drug was purely distribution. But uh, if, I could, uh, if I could sell weed to anybody, right. hey, it would be Bob Marley. <laughs> okay. Snoop Dogg, for sure. And Bill Clinton. 
Bill Clinton is like my number one nigga dog. So I would definitely say Bill Clinton, man. He would have to join the Bobs and the Snoops of the world and weed, man, to bring that to him. You even worked, you collaborated with Snoop Dogg before too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoop, Snoop Dogg was on, yeah, I love Snoop, man. He's like my favorite. Snoop, if you out there, man, we got to get it back in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I actually uh, produced a song for my boy, uh, Parlay Star and Snoop Dogg. Now, you had a song recently that had 14 million hits mm -hmm. on World Star, yeah. and you had to take down the video because it stirred up so much controversy. Uh -huh. I mean, I didn't have to. I wanted to. You, okay, you chose to take down the video. I chose to, yes. And after that, do you find yourself being limited in your creativity as an artist, or has it made you a better artist because of it? It made me a better artist because of it, because it made me a better person, you know? I heard the word, the voices that was being screamed at me, and I did what I felt like in my heart of hearts was right. I had no idea when I put the video out there that I was being offensive to anybody because that was not my intention at all. But, uh, I mean, I heard their voice, and I understood the message, so I did what I felt was right. But, I mean, other than that, no, nah, I mean, I keep doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? All day, every day. So what's up next for you? What can we, what can we find next going on with Wendy right now? I mean, I actually got a show on the moon, you know, in a month or so from now. I'm just playing. <laughs> she, thought I, she thought I was free. I ain't gonna be gullible here. Yeah, <laughs> no. No, nah, man, I'm just going to keep striving for the top, man. I'm just going to keep pushing the heroin project that I just released like a month and some change ago. And I just continue to make great music and please my fans and the audiences all over the world. Thank you so much, Wendy, for joining us today here at Daft Star. Oh, man, I like Daft Star. I'm a big fan, man, so it's a pleasure to be here. We're happy to have you here. Hey, guys, that's it for us here at Daft Star. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Emerson Wendy, for joining us today. And until next time, reach high, be known, and change the world. Yeah.